Why? Hello, everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean, and I'm looking forward to guiding you through today's Tabata Hit Circuit. We've got just a little over two minutes before we get started, but I want to, as usual, start a little bit early so you have time to make space for yourself. Uh, as you can see, I don't have my mat out just yet because our first uh, two moves are, are standing. Uh, and I didn't want to be slipping all over my mat. You do not have to have weights for today's class, but I encourage you to hold on to a little something, something. Uh, oh, I lied. You don't have to have weights for the first four exercises, but I do definitely encourage the heaviest weight that you have that you can hold at your chest uh, to really burn into our glutes. Quads and glutes at the end of class, but if you want to hold on to some any weight that feels good for you uh, for the other exercises, do it. I'm gonna hold on to some weights in my hand because I'm, I'm here to challenge myself to see a change. Uh, if you're super new to exercise, if balance is a real challenge for you, possibly don't use weights in the beginning of this class. Great, we got one more minute so we get started. If you want to put some music on to jam out to and stay motivated, we have a challenging Tabata circuit today. Uh, five different moves, eight rounds for each exercise. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest, and then we move on to the next exercise. So uh, four minutes total, but there's plenty of breaks in there. If you find that you need to take an extra break, you do it. Be kind to yourself, but get back into the exercise as quickly as you possibly can. All right, I also want to apologize. It is over 90 degrees outside. I'm keeping my air conditioning on behind me today because I know things are going to get real sweaty in here. I hope that you can still hear me just as well. But the good news is the move repeats, so you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out, I have faith in you. All right, so let's get started with a nice little warm up. Just going for some lateral side to side. Step taps, trying to stay really quiet in your feet coming down towards the floor. And maybe some double shoulder rolls or individual shoulder rolls. Starting to warm up through the chest, through the upper back, through the lats. Go ahead, change direction of your shoulder rolls. Make sure you're still breathing though, not holding your breath at all. Let's change up the motion again. We're gonna march a couple times to the side, knee drive. March, two, three, knee. March, two, three, knee. I want you to use your exhale to drive that knee up. And once again, controlling it on the way down. So as quietly as you can bring that foot back to the floor, really added a little rotation and if you want you could be doing a great fine we're gonna do two more to each side last ones come on back into a march just march it off and we're gonna come to do some uh, hamstring curls. Oh my gosh, what a Monday. I feel like I'm forgetting uh, the name of everything. I'm feeling these hamstring curls in my glutes. Oh my gosh, in my quads as well. By really keeping these knees pointing down towards the floor. I'm doing my best to kick my butt. So it's a little squeeze in the glutes, a little engagement in the quad. Four more, four, three, two. Now a nice wide knee drive. We can get those arms involved as well. One more eight count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, we'll take a moment just to shake it out. Let's really make sure those hip flexors are delightfully worked up. So balancing on one leg, take a couple kicks forward and backwards. Can you start to flex your toe? 
towards your face as well. Go ahead, change those feet. You can keep a slight bend in this standing leg as well. Switch feet again. We're going to go for a little tick tock action. Great. We're just getting about eight of each on each side. So once you hit your eight, you can switch to the opposite side. Try not to just let things be like swinging. You're actually squeezing your glutes to get this leg to raise. Great, go ahead, plant those feet down, shake it out. One more time, and let's just go ahead. We're gonna get into move number one, because you can, you can use it as a bit of a warm up as well. So, a moment ago, let's march while I tell you. A moment ago, while you were kicking forwards, I asked you to think about flexing your toes towards your face. So once again, I'm gonna ask you to have your toes flex towards your face. We're gonna do a squat with a kick. And as you kick, you're really gonna kick through your heels. So just a nice squat, kick. Remember, you don't have to have any sort of weights in your hands. And you're gonna make the depth of the squat what works for you today. We got 20 seconds to work, 10 seconds of rest. I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna keep my weights light to begin with. I just got some five pounders in my hands. We'll see how things go. You can always increase the weights or completely put them down. First round of alternating squats and kicks in three, two, one, begin. So just squat down, kick, squat, kick. You might even bring your hands up towards your chest as you kick to really think about keeping that chest forward. I'm gonna give you a quick little tip in a sec for how to keep that chest up as you come into the squat to take a break. All right, so if you find that you're coming into your squat and your chest is really low because your weights are really heavy, think about bringing the weights a little bit forward to keep chest up, begin. So same thing, just bringing those weights forward can help you get a little bit lower. So you're challenging yourself a little bit more while keeping that chest up nice and high. Remember, you're going at the pace that works for you. Once you've found the motion though, challenge that pace, take a break. This is just our first move, two rounds down, six to go, three, two, one, Ooh, here we go. So think about your form even before you get started, especially if you've been sitting at your desk all morning or if you're checking this out at a different time. And you would sit at your desk even longer, check in to see whether those shoulders are rounding forward and um, before you get started roll those shoulders down and back pull that core in we start again in three two one here we go so that big squat forward kick i want you to really think about that control in this kick too so oh even if you kick a little bit slower to work on, oh my gosh, take a break, that balance and really engaging that quad. Try it out for a round, see how it feels. Three, two, one, begin. It is a different feeling to do this controlled slow kick versus going for that fast kick where a lot of momentum does come into play. You have to think a lot about intentionally engaging with this fast kick you don't have a choice with that slow kick. Take a break. We got one minute of work left to go. Three, two, one, begin. I'm starting to wish that I challenged myself to use some slightly heavier weights. So I'm gonna pick those up for the last two rounds because it's never too late. It's never too late to increase that challenge as you're ready. Awesome, got a break, no switching my weights. Three, two, one, begin. And remember, if you switch your weights and they're a little heavy, bringing those weights forward can help to keep you with that nice long back and that chest up. When you 
can have your arms. You've seen me have them so many different places. Take a break, wherever feels good for you. Relax by your side. Maybe weights are at your shoulders. Up to you, last round. Here we go, now big squat, kick, intentional kick, toes flex back, push through that heel. Can you get a little bit lower maybe in your squat? Start to feel a little bit more warmed up, I bet. Three, two, one, awesome. I'm gonna put my weights down for just a moment. Feel free to grab a quick sip of water if you want to. <clears throat> I happen to be drinking magical water. It's also known as coffee. Okay. <clears throat> Woo. Best of luck to us all. Next up, we've got a short lunge. So, so it's a back lunge. Normally when I'd say we're doing back lunges, you'd step your foot all the way back. You get these like two really big, like 90 degree angles in your legs. But we're going for a short lunge today. So instead of the back knee being really far away, back knee is gonna come right behind your front heel. So right behind your front heel, a nice short little lunge, and then pressing through that front leg to stand right back up. If you can get down towards the floor, great. Gentle, quiet tapping of that knee down towards the floor. And if you can't get down towards the floor, you're just gonna find the range of motion that works for your body today. We got four times coming up on the right side and then four times coming up on the left side. But we'll add a little something halfway through, shan't we? All right, grab weights if you want to use them. We start in three, two, one. Here we go, so I got my weights. One leg is just stepping back, that knee is coming really close towards the heel, and then feet step right back together. I'm really keeping my chest lifted. There's a nice like little angle that's starting to happen uh, on the long spine. Oh, take a break, take a break. Make sure you're standing up using that front static legs heel. Round two. Just bringing that back knee close towards the floor. And then pressing through your front heel to lift. Control on the way down, control on the way up. Change my angle just for funsies. So you can see I'm being as even as possible. Take a break, I'm not like leaning in one direction. All right, that was two times through. We're gonna add in a knee drive. So as you stand up, Find that knee drive, so back knee taps down. Control, 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 lift up. Control, 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 all the way back down. Remember, you're using the static legs heel to really lift you up, so this quad is firing up, but the abs are working here. Also, oh, take a break to get that knee drive. We got one more time in. On the same side, ready, three, Two, shoulders down and back, here we go. Uh, remember, it's super normal if your stability or even flexibility on one side of the body feels easier than the other, take a break. But let's find that out right now. So we're coming back to just the short lunge, just a short little step back. Remember, you don't have to hold these weights. And here we go. And then press through that front heel to lift up. How you doing? How you doing? You starting to shine a little bit at home? I, I hope so. Take a break. I hope that you're contracting your muscles so you too are joining me. I'm sweating just a little bit. Ready? Three. Two, shoulders down and back, belly in, here we go. So coming into that good form, even if you gotta go slower, if you can only get in one or two, because you're really focused on being as engaged as possible, moving carefully, that's okay. Quality over quantity, you know? Not just, take a break, not just for exercise, like for life. Quality over quantity. Let's make that, that's a good mantra. All right, we're adding in that knee drive. I'm gonna 
gonna think about that the next time I uh, want to indulge in something that might not be the best healthy choice. Take a break. You know, you only live once. You only live once. So I want to enjoy my life, but it's begin again. But I can enjoy my life in moderation. So I'm going to focus on that moderation this summer. Will you join me? Let's see what happens. Five seconds left. Three, two, get that last one in. Uh, did you do it? Cool. All right, we're gonna come down onto the floor. You're welcome. So pull out those mats. We're coming down onto the floor for our next round. We get to lay down on our back because I am a delightful, merciful lady, and you're welcome. All right, <laughs> grab a quick little sip, little sip. Remember, you can bring weights, but you do not have to bring weights. We're gonna start doing some glute bridges. We're gonna do each move two times and then change the move up a little bit. Starting with the easiest move, things are gonna get a little bit harder. If we move on to something and that is too much for you, then go on back to whichever last move worked. Um, for our arms, Party time, you get to do whatever you want with your arms. Maybe you're just gonna hold them above your chest in just a continuous little chest press and activate the core a little bit more. I'm going to go for move number one Woo! for a single arm fly. My left shoulder is not feeling as strong as my right, so two different weights are totally gonna happen. All right, we're gonna go for just a regular glute bridge. So heels right underneath of your knees. You're gonna use your exhale to lift up and inhale to lower down, and you can have your arms down on the floor to help support you through this move. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one. Begin. So I'm going to keep one arm in a chest press, and each time I push my heels up, I'm gonna get in a little bit of this single arm fly. Now, depending on how heavy your weight is, you might need to have a little bit more of a bend in your elbow than I'm currently just playing. Take a break with my slightly lighter weights. Same thing is happening this next time. Same, just up and down, arms up, core tight, ready. Here we go. So, whew. oh my gosh, I'm getting this nice single arm fly on the opposite side. This is the last time through that we're doing these regular up and down glute bridges. Next up, we're gonna take a hamstring focus. Take a break. So you're gonna press yourself up. You're gonna walk a heel out, out, in, in. Ready? Begin. The further you step those heels out, the more challenging this move is going to be. Once you come back in, really press those hips back up towards the ceiling. And I'm just sticking with a standard press right here, just keeping my arms uh, above my chest. Take a break because walking, talking, chewing gum, I can't step those feet out and stay in control and also get a good upper body move done correctly. Ready? Back up, back to your stepping out and in. And if this is too much for you, remember arms down by your side and pressing the forearms into the mat is gonna help to provide a little bit more stability while you get this hamstring focused glute bridge option. Almost there. Take a break, awesome. Next, feet are gonna come in. You're gonna press up onto the balls of the feet. Hips stay nice and high. Heels drop down, hips stay high, and press back up. Join me right here. So heels are dropping down and then coming right back up. If it's too much for you, drop one heel at a time and then the other. Hopefully you are doing it. And I'm gonna come back into a nice fly right here. Ooh, take a break. Awesome, same thing one more time. Remember, we're focusing on that leg, 
move, the lower body moves, so press yourself up into this glute bridge, onto the balls of the feet, and then heels come down, hips stay high, heels go up, hips stay high, hips stay high, hips stay high, hips stay high, hips stay high. The moral of the story is that your hips stay high while your heels move. I hope that you caught where I was going with that one. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, we got one more. We're gonna press up onto the balls of the feet once again, and this time heels stay high and we're gonna pulse our glutes. Here we go. So just a nice little squeeze and pulse, staying up on the balls of those feet. Use that exhale. Squeezing your glutes is what's driving your hips up with control, controlling on the up and the down. Oh, take a break, take a break, take a break. We got one more set of those and then we get to stand up. Ready? Here we go. Those 10 second breaks are fast, but they're, they're every 20 seconds, that's the good news. Really notice that you're pressing equally through all of the ball of the foot, not rolling to the outside or inside if you were rolling to the pinky Woo! or the big toe. I hope you adjusted it. Ah, bring those arms down. Take a moment, draw your knees in towards your chest. Back of the head flat on the mat, maybe even a uh, chin tucked towards your chest, a little choking of the throat sensation. Nice lengthening of the back, big stretch into the glutes and the hips. If you want to give yourself, ah, oh, feel so good circles in one direction and then circles in the opposite direction and we're going to come onto our feet so make your way there Let me move some of my weight because you're going to need some space for the next move all right thanks matt coming up next we're going to go for uh staying on one side we've got a curtsy lunge so Big lunge towards the back, back knee comes down towards the floor. Carefully lift yourself up into a knee drive and then step out nice and wide, shift hips behind you. Press the outer edge of your foot into the floor for your side lunge. Use this leg, lift yourself back up and then we're gonna go back into the curtsy lunge. So you have options to hold on to some weights. Are you gonna take it? This is our second to last move of the day. Same side, four rounds in three two, one, here we go. So chest stays lifted. We got that big curtsy lunge into a knee drive, quiet, quiet feet, side lunge whoo, into that knee drive. Getting some good core work by challenging your stability. Oh, round one's done. How many did you get in? I got two. I'm gonna see if I can get a couple more in round three, ready? Chest up, belly in, here we go. Because we've already started to create a little bit of muscle memory, but I'd rather you go nice and slow using your breath than racing through the motion. Ah, see, we got a little bit further that time. Two down, two to go, no changes, no changes. Ready? Great. Focus on how quietly those feet are coming down towards the floor. So basically we've got like some single leg squats happening here. Ending with a little bit of support. Ah, great. One more time on this side. And we'll switch to the opposite side. Ready? Chest up. Oh, all right, switching to the other side, walk to the opposite bit of your space. Other's leg is going to lead, chest up, core in, begin. 
Remember this first round on the opposite side might be a little bit slower as you're just exploring the range of motion. But you'll have three rounds after this to work to try and pick up the pace. Awesome, take a break. Ready? Three, two, one, begin. Finding that one spot to focus your eyes and also keeping control of your breath is going to help you with this balance right here. Oh, so good. I think we got, oh, I think we got two more rounds. Well, ready? Begin. tell you what, the standing leg quad is getting tired. Good news, bad news. Just take a break. That's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is we're going to work that quad one more time with our last move. Last round, I believe. Let's do it. Here we go. Weight in the heel, weight in the heel, weight in the heel, and weight in the heel. If I was to write a country song, uh, about exercise, that's it. Not like there aren't some exercises where you can bring some weight. Oh, we did it. To the front of the foot. But on the most part, on the most part. Weight in the heel, weight in the heel. All right. Grab your heavy weights. Grab one more sip of water. Meet, meet it, be down on the floor. On the floor. Are you ready to like really sweat? Cool. All right. I'm gonna be kind to myself today and just grab my 15 pound gadget bell and sit on down. Let's do quads first and then we'll end with glutes so that you finish being like, that wasn't so bad. All right. So we're gonna do one move basically two different ways. Uh, with a weight up at your chest, you can hold on to that weight goblet style right at your chest. Uh, or if the weight makes it too hard, just having your hands at your chest can also just make this a little bit more challenging. The arms relax by your side. All right. Uh, to get into our quads from this position, toes are together, knees are out, shoulders are right on top of hips, pressing the shins into the floor. We're going to lift ourselves up, glute squeeze, butt hips stay on top of, sh shoulders stay on top of hips, and on the way back down, shoulders stay on top of hips. That's move number one, shoulders on top of hips, shoulders on top of hips. Move number two, starting from the top, glutes are going to stretch back towards uh, your heels and shoulders stay pretty much on top of knees. As the glutes go back, a real spreading of the buttocks, really spread, 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 and then whoo, lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's gonna get a little bit more glutes. So four times through, we're gonna get the quads, four times through, we're gonna get the glutes, then we got a real quick stretch, and I'm gonna keep it a little longer for that stretch. All right, we start in three, two, one. Begin, so waist at your chest, we're gonna come up, shoulders on top of hips, lower down, shoulders on top of hips. Press those shins into the floor, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And control, control on the way up and down. We're starting off going at the same pace up and down. Take a break, cause I'm a nice lady, okay? We're gonna go one more time, same pace, up and down. Ready, begin. Belly in, shoulders on top of hips, squeeze towards the top, same pace down, same pace up. Down for two, up for two. Squeeze that at the top, you got it. Awesome, this time come on down, take a break, we're changing the pace. We're gonna go up for three, down for one. Ready, three, two, one, we come up, two, three, down, up, two, three, down. Still control on that way down. You're not just 
Woo, dropping into it. Ah, just changing that pace a little slower on the way up. Woo, take a break. And if you can't guess what's coming up next, we're gonna go up fast and a little slower on the way down. Burn, ready? Here we go. So up fast, down for three, two, one, or maybe you go even slower, woo, on that way down. Oh my God, shoulders stay on top of hips, on top of hips, woo. I tell you what, I feel this. When you change up the timing, woo, awesome. Okay, take a quick break. Next up, we're gonna go for that glute move. So let's start at the top. We're gonna spread glutes toward the back, lift ourselves back up, ready? Here we go. So hinge, hinge, hinge at the hips, not the waist, and then lift. Hinge at the hips, 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 hips. Spread those glutes and press up. So I'm still pressing, shins into the floor. I'm trying to go down and up whoo, at the same pace because we're gonna do the same thing whoo, on this side. Ah, take a break. One more time going down and up at the same pace. Glutes are leading on the way back. Ready? Here we go. Glutes lead, glutes squeeze. Woo, woo, woo. I also like to say you're, as your glutes go back, you're dropping the money, and as your glutes come forward, you're holding on to it for dear life. Take a break, awesome. We're gonna change up that pace. Let's go down, slow, up, fast. Ready? Keep that core knit and tight. Don't overarch your back. We're going down, two, three, up, down, two, three, woo! Little like pelvic bing right at the top. One more, one more. Awesome. Take a break. This time we're going to go down fast. Up slow, last move, last move. Ready? Down, fast, up, one, two, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fast, up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, you got it. Oh my gosh, we're working right to the very end. I'm gonna be honest with you, we are literally finishing at squeeze 30 minutes. Take that weight, put it down, put your hands on the floor. And I'm encouraging you to stay here with me for just a couple extra minutes to get a nice stretch on. Let's get a little cat cow. Spread your fingers really wide, relax your hands a little bit, separate those shoulder blades. Arms are nice and straight, elbows are locked, bringing that chest through. A little rounding and flexing of the spine, so as, as much motion as you can get through that back. How much can you really bring the shoulders away from your ears? Let's get one more. So we only have a quick time for stretching today. I really do encourage you to get some stretches throughout the day while you're sitting in your chair even. Go ahead, oh, tuck your toes under, center your hips up towards the ceiling, pedal through your heels, take a moment right here in down dog. Nice stretch into the calves. When you're ready, walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Take the stretch in the hamstrings. If you can't reach the floor, grab your opposite elbow. Take as generous of a bend in your knees as you need to. Try to bring your belly towards your thighs. Now, once the belly is touching the thighs, you can extend your hips up towards the ceiling again. Look down at your feet. Are your two heels in one line with your toes or your feet like a perfect number 11 right here? Right. Right meow, meow. Go ahead, shake your head. Yes, yes, they are. Shake your head, no. No, they weren't, so I fixed them. Thanks for saying something. Oh, you're welcome. All right, generous bending your knees. Slowly roll yourself up. We're getting a stretch in our quads together today because we work those quads. If you need to grab hold of something for balance, find something to balance on, because I know you might be feeling a little wobbly. Ground through one foot. Pick the other foot up. How carefully can you pick it up? Can you pick it up slowly with control? Or did you have to fling that foot into your hand? Just asking you to try a little bit of core 
work, a little careful movement. So slowly bring that uh, foot into your hand. And then whoo, stretch your knee down towards the floor. Work to get your two knees in one line. Imagine that your two hips are in one line, two shoulders in one line. Big lift proud of the chest, still stretching that knee down towards the floor to feel it in the quad. Nice little stretch through the glutes. Let's stretch the hip. Bring that right foot forward, nice figure four. You can sit down into it. You can imagine, I bet, how this is one you can totally translate to do while sitting at your desk, just crossing one leg over the other to get this big stretch in your hip flexor. Inhale, lift yourself up. And let's get the other leg. Can you carefully work to bring that foot into your hand? And maybe you have to kick and that's okay, but once you grab hold of it, work to bring those two knees together. Point your knee down towards the floor, squeeze your glutes, contract a little through that quad to make the stretch happen too. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Oh, it feels so good. Let's bring it forward, take a quick little hip opener so you can just get the sensation of what it feels like and you can try it at your chair later today and let me know how it goes. Next inhale, ground your feet, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, stretch your arms out towards the side. Relax them down. Awesome, thank you so much for coming today. I hope you're feeling great. I know that was a challenging workout. I bet you did the best that you could with your body today. Your best is always enough. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. If you have any particular aches or pains, let me know. Let me make a core and stretch class or a yin yoga class Focus on whatever challenge you're finding today. Nobody else even needs to know. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone. I'll see you soon.